Hi you guys. So in this video, I'm going to rebuild a little 32 single barrel 32 IC EV carb. Um, there's loads of those 32 Webers and Solexes and stuff that came out in the late 60s, early 70s on smaller cars. This model specifically were used on Fiat's. Um, I've got a guy that wants to take it off me, but I said to him I'll rebuild it and make sure it works before I sell it to him. This is how we do it. So this is the carby. Impressively, it's got a water choke on it. Um, it's got a fuel supply and a fuel return, which I didn't expect from an old carby like this. It's got an accelerator pump like any other carby would have. Um, and it's got a little bit over here where you put old water through um, that warms up the carp obviously for colder for colder countries um, anyway a couple of things wrong with it but I'm going to take it apart get it in the in the in my cleaning tank um, to get most of this muck off so whenever you strip anything fishing reel carb anything make sure you've got a tub close by where you put all the screws in um, that way you don't lose anything and also once you've put it together the tub must be empty otherwise you've got a problem you've forgotten something somewhere so I'm going to take this apart um, and uh, put it in the tank to get it clean so uh, <laughs> that's what the inside looks like obviously these only have one main jet and one air jet one pump jet but I'm going to put this in the mild acid to clean it up I'll take it apart all together um, but it's pretty complete there's a float and everything that's in quite a sad state accelerator pump but we'll, we'll get it clean and sometimes the little ball gets stuck but I've got a way of getting it out but let's not worry about that now the eye frames are the same as the as the Weber ones the normal Weber ones but it won't work uh, and I'm hoping these are still available I'm sure they will be see there? that won't work um, in an emergency there's another plan we can make but I'm sure this will be available we'll see so when you rebuild any carb you've got to remove the emulsion tube um, the easiest way to do I've already lifted this one is to <coughs> screw a chip board screw into it and then carefully grip it there and lift it with the side cutters not to damage your car body and then it comes out and that's why you absolutely have to remove it you have to, it's, it's, there's a lot of gunk in there on this model the base comes apart with two screws that hold it there and there and it just comes apart like that um, I'll have to have new gaskets made for there. I've got a guy that designs these and they lay, he laser cuts it for me. So I do it for most models. This little choke connection is broken. Unfortunately. But I've got something on another carb that can work there. So that's not a problem. And then um, I opened this. Look at all the gunk in there. So it definitely has to go in the mild acid. So I've managed to find a rebuilt kit for the carby. Not a bad one. Um, it's got everything in it. So we're going to start assembly. I've added in the in the mild acid and you can see the flow chamber is nice and clean. Um, first thing I'm going to do I want to put the base on, but first thing I want to do is I'm going to put the accelerator pump on and make sure all of these do large work, otherwise it's pointless. So I'm going to put the base on quickly. They did give me a new spacer for there. Um, and then I'm going to assemble the accelerator. I want to see if it works. So on the accelerator pump, um, it's, it's not all the same thickness there. So there's different length screws. So just make sure you get the light, right length screws for there. They should all stick out the same. And then um, I found some more gunk in there. Um, I'll put it together, put fuel in there and, and see how it works. So 
So I've put a bit of petrol in the float bowl. And uh, remember this thing was so, so, so corroded. And it didn't want to pump. And I thought, oh my lord, I'll have to pull these pins and clean up that little ball and everything. And then I thought, hang on a minute. And I unscrewed this. And I put a bit of fuel down there. And I had to do it twice. Because every time when I, when I put fuel down there, it actually draw the fuel in. And um, that works. See? Accelerator pump is 100%. On a lot of carbies that I rebuilt that was in a condition like this, I put this non-return valve in with the two open holes and I actually squirt a lot of fuel through the system. So if there's small little bits that come loose, it's not going to block my accelerator pump jet. Then I'll just spray it here onto the workbench. So I'm going to do that and then put the accelerator pump in. The main jets and air jets on these carbies are exactly the same as the ones in the normal Weber carbs, the 32, 36 and the 38 decas. So if you need to play around with jetting, um, you can do that. Even even the idle jet, I'm still this one up, even the idle jet is the same um, as, as the normal Weber carb. So that's good. I've cleaned up the idle jet and uh, <laughs> the o-ring was so brittle when I took it off, it just broke. But you get a new one in the kit. Um, and it just goes in there. I'm going to put that together quickly. So on the choke mechanism, this diaphragm is no longer available. Um, but I believe you will get it in Europe. You might even get it as a loose diaphragm that you can repin on here. But here in South Africa, you don't get it. So all I'm going to do, it's, it's not broken. It's a little hard. It's not broken. So all I'm going to do is, is just put a bit of lubricant on it, because it's dry, and um, put it back, and, and hope for the best. But again, it's only the joke. So I'm going to put that together quickly. Again, make sure you've got the right screws, because they, they're all the same and they come in different lengths. So next thing we have to do is to put that cap and a little filter back fortunately you get one in the kit this one is not too bad you could have cleaned it up but i've got a new one um so i'm gonna put it back it just goes in there and then the cap goes over i've cleaned up the cap there's no gasket for it it seals on a taper so I'm just gonna screw that in quickly and that's done next thing we have to do is to install the needle and seat um, they give you the o-ring with the, the gasket, aluminium gasket with it, and it's a very good quality. Um, it's made by RCA company in Italy, and um, that manufacture all kinds of jets and stuff for all kinds of carbs. So it's good quality. I'm just going to whack that in quickly, and they give you a 1.5 in the kit. Next thing we're going to do is install the float. Um, Remember, before you install the float, you have to put the gasket in. Otherwise, you won't get the gasket in if you put the float in first. Um, and then I'm going to adjust the float level. So adjusting the float is actually very simple. So between between the bottom of the between the bottom of the or the top of the float and the bottom of the carby, between there and there, must be between ten and eleven millimeters, according to the book. I don't have to measure that, just take a 10 millimeter drill, that's with the gasket in place, take a 10 mil drill and, and slide it through there. And you can see there is about a millimeter gap, so that's as good as you're going to get it. And then you can also make sure that your float is level, it's not twisted. The top distance, so that's when the float's fully open, like that, I'm just going to hold it there with my finger, it must be about 45 millimeters from the gasket. And again, that's about 45 millimeters from the gasket. And to get there, you just bend that little plate accordingly and that little plate accordingly. And that's a float level done. So just something to mention. I've now put the choke back in everything, but these carbs 
were prone to leak over there. So in the kit, they give you that spacer. And the spacer has got a gasket on either side, as you can see there. But they give you two extra gaskets. Um, I would advise you to put all of them on. And then once you're done, remove the idle mixture screw. Close that there at the back with your thumb, as I'm doing now. And spray carb cleaner in here. And see if it leaks out here. Because if this carby leaks anywhere here, around there, you're never going to get your idling set up properly. So, um, yeah. Just keep that in mind, please. Um, the last thing that I'm going to do here is to put a new o-ring on the on the auto mixer screw and put it in place. So when you put your choke back, remember to put that little o-ring in. And this is a little fitting that I made for there. It's now adjustable. So I'll put all of that on and see how that works. So I'm ready to put the carb top back. I just want to make sure before I do that, the accelerator pump and everything works as it should. And it does. I don't know if you can actually see it spray on the video, but it sprays beautiful. 100%. So there's the carby done. Joke works. All the linkages are on, everything works. A little bit of dirt there. But um, yeah, a very, very good carb. Very good original carb. There's that little link that I made. So there we have it, carby done. I've got no use for this carb. So I'm just going to put it on the shelf. And um, hopefully one day a guy wants the original carb like that and I can help him out. When you store a carb like that, like this one that's now been rebuilt, it's a good idea to put um, WD-40 or Q20 inside the carb, spray it through, accelerate the pump, all of that. Otherwise, it's just going to go all white powdery again. Anyway, I hope that helps someone. Be safe out there.